VR and AR head-mounted displays enable natural viewing of digital content through their uniquely wide field of view. While this novel paradigm has unlocked an unprecedentedly immersive viewing experience, the head-mounted hardware components add non-trivial weight to users' heads, and thus inevitably burden their neck muscles. Such ergonomic deficiency compromises the overall comfort level of VR, AR experience and can lead to serious neck issues over time. To reduce users' muscular workload toward healthier and more comfortable VR, AR experiences, we developed a computational model to quantitatively evaluate and predict their potential neck muscle contraction level before they engage in a virtual viewing experience. Through a psychophysical user study, we demonstrated that our method can effectively alleviate users' perceived neck discomfort during virtual viewing by optimally planning and guiding their head movements. To this aim, we first conducted a physiological pilot study. Leveraging VR headsets head tracking feature and electromyography devices, we collected over 5-hour time synchronized head movement and neck muscle contraction data with users of varying physiology. To ensure good coverage of common head movements in VR, AR, we sampled 63 anchor head poses from a rotation range of 100 degrees for yaw and 60 degrees for pitch. Starting from each of these anchors, our users were visually guided to rotate their heads to reach eight neighboring targets in different directions one by one. They were guided to stay stationary at each target for a fixed duration before rotating back to the anchor for the next target, so that both stationary and dynamic viewing conditions were considered. Our analysis of the resulting dataset revealed a strong impact of both head pose and angular acceleration on neck muscle contraction level. Building upon this knowledge, we proposed a biophysically inspired muscle contraction level prediction model to characterize muscle-driven head motions, and used our collected data to learn the open parameters within the model. The overall muscle contraction level prediction pipeline consists of two core components, a trajectory regression module that takes in a sequence of starting, ending head pose pairs and outputs a smooth head motion trajectory, and a muscle contraction level prediction module that takes in a head motion trajectory and outputs the corresponding muscle contraction level required for completing the movement. Beyond objective evaluation, we also performed a psychophysical study on users' neck fatigue in VR. From our observations, users' cumulative muscle contraction level due to head movements is strongly correlated to their neck discomfort. Besides, even subtle variations across guided head movements can lead to significant difference in cumulative muscle contraction level, thus perceived discomfort. These results validated that our method can effectively evaluate, predict, and reduce users' neck muscular workload for a more comfortable VR, AR experience. Please refer to the manuscript for further details on our methodology and evaluation. Thank you for watching.